Well, who's going to help me tell my story? Who's going to help me make a prop that looks like wheat? Where's that lazy crop guy? Listen, Hen, forget the wheat. It's time for opening. Hey, how do we not go here? Look, I know a 
y'all think? Y'all think she's not possibly going to eat the book? But as a matter of fact, she won't get the chance because it turns out Chicken looking here wasn't completely wrong. His mouth wasn't falling, but the table of contents was. <laughs>
don't think it's a dog straight queen. Yeah. You're so ugly. The neighbors all used to say. <laughs> no, the neighbors did not say that. They said, holy moly, what an ugly duckling. Yes, that is what they said. When the spear moved them, they were not singing thusly. Ugly duckling, ugly duckling, your appearance is a shock. Ugly duckling, ugly duckling, oh, your face is on the block. You're hideous, your looks are hideous, your eyes are so hideous. What a homie bird. Okay, I think they get the idea. No offense. No harm, no foul. What an ugly bird. They were particular cool group of neighbors, but they really didn't bother the really ugly duckling who would say to themselves, Don't forget my plan. One meatball, 20 steps. 20 steps, meatball. Got it. 
Twenty steps after twenty steps, soggy meatballs or soggy meatballs. Twenty steps. Twenty steps. Until finally, Randall, I'm tired. Randall, I'm cold. Okay, you don't be back. Randall, I'm hungry. Then eat a meatball. But that was our last one. Please, please, can we just go home? Okay, I'm just gonna stop complaining.
said it's hard. Come on, come on. I can turn straw to gold. I beg your pardon? I can help you turn straw to gold. That won't do me any good. I need a dress less than Virginia Coach. Do you like to try to guess my name? Not really. Come on, give it a try. Do you think it's Chester? Look, if you don't have a dress, it doesn't really matter. But I'm a mysterious old man. Aren't y'all these a bit curious? Come on. Uh, but just a name, any name. Please, look, maybe you should come back when my stepmother's here. But wait, you don't understand. Bye now. It's Rumpel Still Skin, Rumpel Still Skin, Rumpel Still Skin. I don't know who he was, but I feel in a way he has changed my life. I can sit around for it think about it. Yeah, but he's still wearing rags and still hasn't seen the house. Can you hear him? He's What? He doesn't mean. Ah! Who are you supposed to be? I'm the tortoise. No, you're not. You're Sergeant General. Thank you, Sergeant General. Hey! We don't speak your language. Anyway, I thought you'd be going right by now. I'm gonna lose myself in this plane, and you'll never find me. Well, you better hope he doesn't like turtle soup. Once upon a time, there lived a tortoise that was very slow, but very dependable. Let's go find Chester and pluck out the phone cat. Oh, he's set up where I need to go. Don't get there. This just takes me a little longer than usual. The tortoise, you are so slow. I could probably grow my hair faster than you. Run. Oh yeah. That's why this story is called the Torch in the Hair. And, uh, you charged me a race. No kidding. What a concept. It fascinated me. Infuriating. I don't know what I'm doing in this story, but many things have me to say that on the day of the big race. Wait, may I just simply point out that I have a PhD from Yale University, and I did a postdoctoral research on particle physics at the Institute for Advanced Studies at Princeton. I will. I will. Okay, okay. I just came here to try I just came here to say that on the day of the big race, Thomas and Hair lined up in the starting line and the grossly over qualified referee said, on your mark, get set, scroll! Thomas is running! Rabbit is growing his head! Thomas is running! Rabbit is growing his head! <laughs> that is what is called a day at It is a dramatic device that comes at the end of a play that saves a hero from a certain death. In this case, I think it saved us from a certain daughter. With all this excitement and in the act of our narrator, nobody has realized that a story is already begun. In the first part of the story, in the regrettably missed, where once upon a time there was a little old lady and a little old man who lived together in a little old house. And I was telling you that in the first part of their story with the last week. Yeah! I'll give him a piece of that from the mouth. Okay! And then I'll give him two eyes, two O's for the eye, and. Then what? And then he won't have to be lonely no more. And so you. You'll be a walking, talking, safer little man made out of a variety of food stuffs? That's right. It is a little bed and a sticky cheese, olives, and bacon. And when she checks, she opens the oven to see if it was done. I can run, 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 run,